Oh, it's got pipes. Howdy y'all, fuzzy biker down here in the mighty mini tropics of Marnie, Iowa. And look what we have behind us today. This is an absolutely wonderful machine. So Uh, let's go over the normal specs first, okay? Engine is a 1200cc single overhead cam, four valves per cylinder, parallel twin, liquid cool, the radiator hides right back there. It's, uh, it's a 270 degree crank, so it gets that very good sound. We'll hear the sound here shortly. So this bike has 77 horsepower and 78 foot-pounds of torque. By the way, it's 10 to, 10 to 1 compression. But those numbers are a little deceiving, a lot deceiving actually, because all that torque and all that power comes in right at the bottom of the RPM range. So it's way at the bottom. It's very gutsy. Everything is, I mean, it's called the high torque engine, HT. And everything is just right, right where you need it. So the big thing about Triumph, I've been talking about the styling and the engineering and the quality and all that stuff. Uh, the big thing I should be talking about with you all is that it is a, uh, it is a bike designed for the rider. It's a bike that when you ride it, everything is made to work with you as a person. The clutch works with you, the seat works with you, the controls, the, everything works well, everything works smooth, every, everything works you know, dandy. And that's what they've done with the engine tune. They've tuned the engine to operate right where you're gonna use it almost all the time. Where all the power is right at the bottom almost all the time. It's a very easy r bike to ride, very easy bike to ride. Uh, then it's got all these goodies. Okay, and let, we'll kind of go over some of the stock goodies and then we'll go to the add-ons. It's got these 310 millimeter Brembo brakes. Look at the stylized disc. I love the way those discs look. Two piston caliper Brembos. So the forks are just massive on this bike. The forks are 47 millimeters. There's three and a half inches of travel right here. The front tire is a 9016. I think that's like a 9116. That means the tire is as tall as it is wide. And it's got a 16 inch wheel. And by the way, 32 inch spoke wheels, both front and rear. That is a very very traditional look, isn't it? Um, the rear has a about three inches of travel, which is about uh, 77 millimeters. By the way, the front has uh, the front has about 89 millimeters of travel. I should mention that. So three and a half inches on the front, that's 89 millimeters, and the rear has about three inches, which is 77 millimeters. But I mean, just look at this whole rear end. Isn't that just gorgeous? And by the way, while we're looking at this, the seat height on this bike, this is just crazy. In stock form, the seat, and this seems like it might even be lower, the seat is 27.2 inches. That's about 690 millimeters. 27.2 inches. I mean, you can just step over this bike. Just nothing to it, you know? Crazy low. And I just love the whole back end. I mean, look at the look here. I mean, that's just phenomenal, phenomenal. Wheelbase on this hot rod is 59.1 inches. It's about 1,500 millimeters. And the fuel tank is 3.2 gallons. That's about 12 liters. And the weight, and this is a really crucial buy number here. So this one with a full tank of fuel and all the fluids, 553 pounds, 251 kilograms. I mean, that is incredibly good, you know, starting with the engine. It looks like the old air-cooled engine. It's got the angular heads, you know, the outsweat pipes, the uh, colored spark plug cover there. It looks like, a, it, it, by the way, it's air, it's liquid cooled. Uh, down here, it has a Triumph heart. The old points cover down there. There's no points under these are electronic ignition. Jumping backwards, this looks like an old pre-unit transmission. It's actually a cover for the chain, and I think the brake reservoir is under this cover. The uh, master cylinder reservoir for the reservoir for the rear brake. Down there is how you check your oil. This looks like a uh, oil tank for a dry sump bike, but this is actually a wet sump bike. This looks like the old monoblock carburetors. This is actually a fuel injected motorcycle, so that's not that. This actually looks like an old air filter. But it's not, of course. Looks like a rigid rear end. Of course, it's a monoshock. You can see that right back there. And I mean, look, just look at that whole rear end. You know, it's got the, the cone back there. It's got the ribbed fenders. I mean, remember how those were back in the day? They were known for that. You know, Triumph is known for these ribbed fenders. Look at that shorty rib fender on the front. But just oozing with, uh, oozing with tradition and style. You know, the bobber seat. I mean, what a, what a bobber looking motorcycle, right? Does it get any better than that? I actually, I'm just in love with these. This bike, they took the long exhaust off. They put these shorty, uh, they say monotone on them. It's got quite a sound. They put a monotone seat on it right here. Diamond pattern. They put these raised bars on with the drop mirrors. Uh, I was a little wondering, you know, I was wondering about how that is to ride. And uh, I've driven it around town quite a bit and it's actually very good. I, I find the handling to be just fine. 
you know, very good actually. I love the little headlight right there. You know, it's got the Triumph goodies on the inside and all stylized. This is all LED by the way. So jumping up here, we've got adjustable levers for both the uh, clutch and the brake. Ah, this bike has cruise control, very important. Information button, flash to pass button or high lows right here. I think it's a high low. I don't think it's a pass to flash. It's high lows. Uh, cruise controller mentioned that horn, blinkers, and blinkers on a Triumph are there to die for. I've bought blinkers all my life, and uh, Triumph's the company with the best blinkers, in my opinion. But uh, and then jumping over here, we've got the kill switch, run switch, start switch, hazard lights down here, mode button there. Uh, the big mono, you know, looking uh, speedo, great big speedo. Um, blinker indicators on the sides here, neutral light, high beam light down there. So it's got the traditional analog, it's got an oil light, an engine light, ABS light. It's got the traditional analog speedometer on the top. And by the way, this is domed. But it's also got this LED down here with a gear indicator. I think we talked about that earlier. Fuel, fuel gauge, uh, the mode that you're in. You see right there it says road. I think we have multiple modes, rain and road. I think that's what this bike has. There's a digital RPM meter in here. And I think there's other goodies in here. Let's push, this is the information button. Let's push that button and see what happens. Traction control. Oh, you can turn it on and off. That's, that's how you control your trip one, trip two, miles per gallon. Just all, oh, there's a clock, all kinds of goodies in there. And then the RPM, we'll leave it in RPM. It says Bonneville up here. Very nice looking clock. You know, this is all very well done, I believe. So they did the uh, added cables, the drop mirrors, the high bars. I mean, it's just really well done. I love the way these things look. I just love, love, love the whole thing here. Just a beautiful bike. And, you know, it's both it's both large and small at the same time. I don't know how to describe that. It's a lengthy motorcycle, you know, from, from back to front. It's really, you know, there's a lot there. And uh, I, I can't remember what the wheelbase was, but uh, 57, 58 inches, something like that. But it's really quite there, you know. But yet it's small. When you get over here by the seat, you know, it's just a tiny thing. It's even narrow through, I mean, look, look at that, right through there. You know, very good. I love the brass on there. You know, they've just done a really good job with that. I mean, look at the quality here, you know, contrasting materials, the brass up here. Oh, look at the battery box. This is where the battery is. You know, it's inside a box. It's got this stainless steel strap on it. It's just a gorgeous thing, gorgeous thing. The engine on this bike, I've talked about this earlier. The way it delivers the torque and the power is incredibly pleasing to somebody like me. I like it. It's very easy to drive. When I ride these motorcycles, the Street Masters, I've driven the Street Master. This which is the two seat version of this bike. It's it's something where you you get to ride outside the motorcycle. You don't have to think about the motorcycle. It works so well. You just don't have to pay attention that much to the bike itself. It does everything very well on its own. I don't think you could find a better cruiser right now. It, it's just. It's amazing. And you know what I think we'll do? I'll get my helmet on, my gear on, and we shall go for a ride. Wahoo! Five, four, three, two, one. <laughs> I'm in heaven. I'm in heaven. This is amazing. Beautiful. Beautiful. I love it. spin test here. Excellent. Excellent. If you're in the market for a new or used Royal Enfield or Triumph or vintage bike of any type, get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle in Marnia, Iowa, or visit BaxterCycle.com. They can help you out. They also have a complete line of accessories and parts for everything. I think they're the biggest vintage motorcycle parts supplier in North America. Now this is going to be a trick, friends. This is a long wheelbase bike. Okay, we made it. <laughs> Let's see if I can do it both ways. Yeah, maybe I can, maybe I can. Oh, just barely, just barely we did it. The torque is amazing. The clutch lever feels awesome. It's got awesome feel. And by the way, the style of the clutch lever is, is second to none. What a hot rod, what a hot rod. These bikes having a tremendous amount of power. They're, they're just... Just real, real machines. At 60 miles an hour in six gear, you're tacking uh, about 2,500 RPM. Well, that's pretty darn good, I'd say. Okay, the seating position. 
I'm very upright. My, my feet are below my knees. My knees are about even with the ground, parallel with the ground. My legs are, my upper legs. My back is straight. My arms are st almost straight out from my shoulder, literally straight out from my shoulder. I'm not uncomfortable in any way. I think it's very comfortable. I think the seat, it's got that monotone seat. I believe the seat is pretty thinly padded. If it were my bike, I might keep the stock seat. They've got beautiful seats coming, you know, coming from the factory stock. Look at this, just pulls like a banshee. I mean, what a, what a torque monster this thing is. Handling for the bike. Uh, let's start within the garage. I pushed this out of the shop. It was a dream. It's so low to the ground. You know, it's 550 pounds wet, but the center of gravity is so low to the ground. It's got those 16 inch wheels for one thing. That it, I mean, it just, it pushes easy. In the parking lot, you saw us doing uh, slow turn maneuvers, circles, it, it did that just fine. It is a long wheelbase bike, but it did it, did it just fine. Driving around town, it's made for driving around town. I think that's where it uh, really wins the show. On the highway, like this, I would love to take this on a very long ride. Uh, of course, I love to take any motorcycle on a long ride, don't I? But I think it's a, it's got a good, it's got a very good feel. It handles well. Look at that, picks right up, picks right up. I love it. It's got kind of a gritty feel to it. It doesn't really vibrate, but you can tell it's alive. You know, you can really tell it's alive. I did drive the Speedmaster and with the low bars, and I really like that too. Nobody behind us. We are fast approaching Iowa's busiest intersection. And there is a car there. Oh my gosh, and traffic coming from all directions. No one behind us though, thank goodness. Busy day here, huh? What shall we do? What shall we do? We shall do this. It's a new bike, so we're gonna short shift. This is a real bad boy. This is a sweet, sweet bike. This bike is set up for low end and mid range torque. I mean, that is just where it's all at on this thing. It's a real beauty. I just, it has grunt like you wouldn't believe. The torque is just phenomenal. It's just phenomenal. Oh, this thing just rolls. Hey, let's try the cruise. Okay, I've got cruise on, hand off. Look at that. Ha, 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 ha. I love it. How do you shut off the cruise? Well, you turn the gas backwards or you hit a brake or you change gears. That's my understanding anyway. You know, I've never had a bike with cruise and uh, it's it's the one feature I always wish, I mean, I just, that's the one thing I wish I had. This is all style and lots, you know, it handles so well though. It, everything works so well on these bikes. You know, again, that's another trait of the Triumph motorcycle. It's, it's made to work with the rider. Let's see how she does in the turn test here. No one behind us. Oh yeah, she's a big bike, you can tell that, but she does very well. I mean, this is just excellent. Just excellent. <laughs> she's a big bike, guys. That is the derailed grill. If you get to Marty Iowa, give those guys a try. So much torque. If you get a chance to ride one of these, get, get yourself down here to Baxter Cycle and ride one of these. It's just a phenomenal machine. If you are a fan of the big cruiser, this is the bike you want to ride. You want to check one of these out. We, all right, y'all, we are back here at Baxter Cycle. <laughs> As always, I don't want to stop, but we got stuff. The handling is really good in the parking lot. That's the Triumph building right ahead of us there. This is the Royal Enfield building on the left. If you all are in the market for a brand new or used Royal Enfield or Triumph or antique vintage bike of any type, get a hold of these guys. Tell them Fuzzy Biker sent you. Wahoo! Okay, here we are at a dead stop. We're just gonna let the idle. We're gonna pull it out, let the clutch out. No problems whatsoever. Look at that. Just let's just climb around this parking lot real quick. Hey, there's our good buddy Gary. That is one sweet tiger. <laughs> 